Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video for me, Alan's Inventions. And today I was browsing Dollar Tree for content ideas. Guess what I found? A new design for the old solar lights. These have a larger panel and an overall bigger design. I'm wondering if I can repurpose these for more useful application of the solar panels. For those that are new to my channel, welcome. Uh, a couple of years ago, I made my own solar panel using similar lights and a 3D printed frame. I put a link in the corner if you want to watch that video first and then come back. But basically, after seeing these new lights, I wanted to try them out and you know what I did? I bought 15. <laughs> Just kidding. No, I didn't. Not this time. But I did buy two. I'm going to be comparing these lights with the new solar panel to the old one and see if it's worth it to hack these lights to make a useful solar panel. And by useful, I mean powering something bigger. But anyways, let's go. Okay, so a quick recap of my old video. I took 12 lamps apart, I ripped out the solar panels, I 3D printed a frame, I wired the panels together, and then after everything was assembled, I was able to achieve an output of between 4 and 7, maybe 8 volts, and a few hundred milliamps uh, out of the array. The conclusion was that the panels used in these lights were very inefficient, and to power something useful, I would need a lot of them. At that point, it would be better to buy a dedicated panel instead of making my own. Now that you're all caught up, let's take apart this new design and compare it to the old one and see if there has been any improvements that we can take advantage of. Okay, so right off the bat, it looks like this lamp works the same way, except this design does feel slightly better quality, <laughs> but not by much. Uh, you can see it's made in Vietnam, and this also looks to be a four-part design. So you still have the solar panel, the stake, the reflector, and the shaft that kind of holds it up together. So, good stuff, the solar panel. To get into this one, I'll need a small Phillips screwdriver. The old lamp had five screws holding it together. This one only has two. And the lid pops right off, and there's a lot less components in this one, or it kind of feels like it. So there's the battery, the circuit board, the cables, and then the solar panel and my arch nemesis, hot glue. I do see one more screw holding the PCB, so let me take out the battery and the screw. And the whole bottom piece comes right off. So the PCB looks exactly the same, and I'm starting to think that... There was no improvements, just a bigger solar panel, and it's still Chinesium, but just 2.0. The next thing I did was, using some isopropyl alcohol, I was able to get the solar panel out and bring it outside for testing. So, here we are outside now, and thanks to sunny California, I can test this in full sunlight and just see how much power uh, this new panel is producing. So as you can see, the solar panel produces 2.5 volts and about 30 milliamps of current, which is a slight improvement over the old ones, but that's only because of the increased size, not because of the quality of the panel. In comparison, this smaller solar panel that I have, uh, when I bought it was rated for 5 volts and 5 watts out of this USB port, but when I actually tested it, I only got 5 volts and about 2.5 watts. It was like 5 volts and like 490 milliamps of current. Uh, mine is older and I couldn't find a link for it, but I did link a similar one down below. In case you didn't know, it's probably cheaper to buy a small solar panel than building one. This one that I linked costs under $15 and would have about 5 or 6 times more power output than the one that I made in my first video compared to these individual solar cells then it's like 50 times over the amount of power you'd get out of this whole little solar panel I did also have a larger one laying around this one is rated for 12 volts 
and has an output of 20 watts so you pair this with a solar charge controller and now those dollar lamps are looking like a pile of junk compared to this dedicated setup so I actually use this setup to charge the battery for my lawnmower it's gas powered but it's for the starter I simply connect the solar panel and the battery to the controller then just let it sit in the sun it's rugged, it's durable, and it cost me $58 compared to at least $200 that it would cost me to make one that has a similar power output. That's assuming 150 lights, plus 50 bucks in miscellaneous materials, wire, 3D printed frames, and all the other components. So in conclusion, if you're thinking about buying these lamps and making your own solar panel or powering something with them, I wouldn't recommend it. The power output is too low on them. You're better off buying a, de a dedicated one like the one that I linked down below, uh, which is from Renogy. I use their panels to install them on my shed. You can check out that video here uh, or the link in the corner if I can get that to work right. Um, but other than that, as far as for hacks, uh, you're better gluing them to mirrors and calling them a hack, but you're not going to be powering anything useful with these. So in conclusion, if you're considering building your own solar panels using these dollar store lamps or trying to hack them for other purposes, I wouldn't recommend it. They're not efficient, they're overly priced considering the cost of the power that you're getting out of them, and that's why I didn't build one. But if you do, then go for it. Um, make sure to take a photo of it, upload it to Instagram, and tag me at Allen's Inventions, and I want to go see it. I've also left some links down below for you guys if you want to buy some of the stuff that I used or the other panels that I have just for my own personal use. Uh, thanks for watching. Please make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and notifications on. Comment would be great as well. Uh, but again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.